What's going on people? Welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV. Just thought I'd get a quick video out because there's finally been some transfers at Arsenal. Something to talk about. Danny Sabeos has signed from Real Madrid um, on a season-long loan. From what I've seen of him, he's a good player, very technically gifted, good passer of the ball. The thing is, these kind of players, when they come to the Premier League, they, they hit and miss. You know, one on one hand, you've got your Denis Suarez, who was a bit lightweight. And then on the other hand, you've got your, your Cesc Fabregas, who are technically brilliant, or Santi Cazorla, technically brilliant. Bit disappointing we haven't got an option to buy him if he comes in and tears it up for a year. You know, what does he do? Walk out and go back to um, Real Madrid. But good to get him in. We needed a midfielder who can score goals. Hopefully he can come in and score goals, create chances. That's something to be positive about. Obviously they've got William Saliba in. Um, a bit unfortunate really that he doesn't join us for a year. We could have done with him now. Um, one for the future. It was great to see him um, in, his, in his video that he was wearing an Arsenal shirt. It's nice to have people at the club who you know have cared about the club for a long time. You know what I mean? So that was positive. I think the question for all Arsenal fans, really, um, as much as we're being positive about those two signings, it's really what happens from this point here. You know, we need a couple of major signings if this is going to be a successful window for us. And I think that's going to mean we need a centre-back, we need a winger, we need a left-back. For me, if we can get Tierney, Zaha and a decent centre-back, I think this window will be a big success. If we don't get anybody of that sort of level of Zaha, then for me it's been a major disappointment. You know, the AGM was, I think, yesterday. You know, they're coming out saying there's more than 40 million and they don't know where all this has come from. So show us, man. Who we, we need to sell people, bro. There's a lot of dead wood at Arsenal that needs selling. They need to clear the wages. We can't add five, six, seven players. If we're not selling anyone, we, we still got to shift people. So let's see what happens. You know, clubs start panicking later in the window. So hopefully they, they start grabbing the El Nenis and Mustafis and Jenkinsons offers. Just quickly on the Zaha deal, I'm seeing today that Everton are set to offer 60 million plus a player for him. I know for a fact he's desperate to go and he's desperate to come to Arsenal. Surely we can stump up 60 million. You know what I mean? Pay it in instalments, chuck them a player, give them Chambers, give them Jenkinson. Get that deal done, man. Don't let him go to a different club when he wants to come to us. It doesn't make any sense. Um, the boy Everton in Brazil, um, the Brazilian winger, we're still being linked with him. I get the impression he's a backup to maybe Zaha. It's come out in the press that maybe we've offered for Pepe, um, Nicolas Pepe, the Ivory Coast winger at um, Lille. So it seems we're making moves, but we're leaving it late. It feels like we're panic buying. Um, you know, Tierney at 25 million. Go and get that deal tied up. Stop messing about. We're not in a position to mess about. People are saying, oh, you know, but other clubs haven't signed players, but... We're probably in the biggest trouble. You know, we finished fifth last season. Man United will spend a fortune. They're already spending big money. Tottenham have broke their transfer record. Manchester City have, um, I think, equaled or broke their transfer record. They spent like 60-odd million on Rodri. Liverpool, you know, they, they've got a great team. I think they'll strengthen as well. We've got to make moves. We need a couple of defenders, a winger. Um, yeah, maybe a left-back, centre-back and a winger, and I think we'll be fine. Tierney, Zaha, a decent centre-back, we're good to go. I've said before, there ain't many great centre-backs out there. I'd take a chance on someone like Lazelles at Newcastle. I rate him, he's a leader, no nonsense. Um, I think Ake at Bournemouth's a good centre-back. Um, Lewis Dunk at Brighton, decent. They were talking about 40 million, though, that's the problem crazy money for for half decent players 
unless they can unearth a gem from Europe or something on the cheap. Um, but look, two players yesterday, something positive. Unfortunately, one of them not joining us yet. The young players maybe need to step up as well, but they need some help. So Arsenal, get moving, get some quality in, get some of this dead wood out of the club, and let's get moving forward. Emirates Cup this weekend. Obviously saw the incident yesterday with Ozil and Kalasinac. Crazy, man. These type of things happen all over the world, you know. Footballers are targets, but yo, shout out Kalasinac still. That was some brave shit he did there, man. You know, put himself in real danger. I think Ozil owes him a drink. You know what I mean? So, let's see what happens between now and the end of the window. We'll be at the Emirates Cup on Sunday anyway. Check us out down there. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments who do you think we should be trying to buy realistically with the money we've got. Who do you think we should be selling? Look out for more videos coming up. Um, we'll be at the Emirates on Sunday anyway. Emirates Cup. Less.